everyone and welcome back to Cracker Jack Cards. Today I'm doing two video responses um, and uh, those two video responses are for Rick at uh, Vintage Oddball Cards and also Shoebox Legends. So these two video responses are very last minute and I know that. Um, they both end at 12 o'clock tonight so they are very very last minute and I hope they get in. Uh, but if not that's fine. I'm not really doing it for the prizes just more to sh uh, spread the love around the community. So, uh, as I said, uh, one is for Vintage Oddball Cards, so go check them out. I'll leave both their channels in the descriptions. Uh, and then the other one is for Shoebox Legends. So, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit of a shorter video. Um, but before we do that, go check out Sterling Sports Auctions as always. Um, there is an auction live right now, uh, and it ends on March 30th. Go, definitely go check it out. They're the sponsor of this channel. So, yeah, um, and also, I think this might be the first time that I've let the, let the hair out in the video. Usually I'm wearing a hat, so hope you guys, hope you guys like the hair. Uh, but anyways, go check out the channels, and uh, let's get into this. All right, guys, so the first video response I will be doing is for Vintage Oddball Cards, and he wanted us to show off our beaters and, like, just bad looking cards that are very well loved and um maybe we're in bicycle spokes or whatever um they have their uh, flaws but they're beautiful in their own ways so first off i'm going to show off this 1974 hank aaron card um this is actually a card from my dad's collection from when he was collecting as a kid and i'm sure he's pulled this card and um he told me that he uh, kept all of his baseball cards in trash bags, so um, that's probably why the one of the reasons uh, it looks like this. Um, but yeah, uh, the next card is a the other card that was in my dad's collection. This one is a little bit worse. It looks like uh, he might have not only put this in a trash bag, but might have ran it over with a car and burned it, or he was hungry and took a bite out of it. But this is a 1966 <laughs> Jim Davenport. Um, this is another card I found in his collection. He had a box of cards that I went through uh, a couple years ago. Um, yeah. Next, I got uh, two more Hall of Famers. I got this Goose Go Goslin. Um, you might be looking at this and like, whoa, that's a really nice Goose Goslin uh, Gaudi. But it's not. I got this for 30 bucks. And uh, once I flip it over, you'll see why. Um, as you can see, the back isn't too pretty, but the front's what matters really, right? Um, but yeah, so this is another pretty beat up card. I mean, the front is just perfect. Great color, the back. I mean, 30 bucks for this card, for a Hall of, uh, Gaudi Hall of Famer is just insane. Uh, and then one more. This card isn't actually that bad. I just wanted to show it off again because I love it. Um, but first, first off, you can saw, already see like the tape at the top and bottom. Um, and then also there's like dust. I, I don't know what it is. It's like white dust. It just kind of looks weird. But um, I mean, it's not it's not a terrible card. The corners are nice and colors meh. But the back looks really really nice. Um, but any really old Hank Aaron is uh, is pretty good in my collection. Um, so now, for the second VR, uh, I am doing uh, Shoebox Legends. And he actually had two questions that he asked us. So the first question he asked was, how has your collection or how you buy stuff has changed? So... Um, when I first started collecting about six or seven years ago, I started off of uh, buying, um, you know, going to Target and buying those packs, like the rack packs and the whatever I could, whatever I could really find because I didn't really have too many options. Um, I know one thing I loved buying was these little mystery packs and it would come with like four, four, it was like a mystery box and it would come with four packs and then it would also come with one hit, which would be like a relic. Um, but I mean, some of the some of the packs that would be in there were like 1993 Donruss. Everybody loves 1993 Donruss, right? 
Um, but, you know, I mean, they weren't terrible. I know one time I got, like, a Frank Thomas relic, which was pretty cool. Um, but as you can probably tell by my channel, it has changed a lot. Uh, I collect pretty much strictly vintage now, vintage baseball. Uh, here's an Eddie Lopat 1953. Um, and as you can see by, like, the other cards I showed off, for the other VR, I pretty much only click collects vin uh, vintage. Um, also, another way it has changed is I am now a set collector. Uh, also, pretty much only vintage. I think my newest set is 1988. Um, but I'm going to do something that I haven't done in a very long time. And that is show you guys my upstairs room. Um, I came down here a while ago, down into this card room, but my actual room, like where I sleep, is full of all my sets. So uh, let's go upstairs and I'll show you around. Here's the room, my upstairs room, where all my sets are. Uh, pretty well decorated, I would say. Um, but here's all the sets. And I forgot to mention this, but I also started collecting TTMs, which are through the mail autographs. So I send all these cards to um, MLB players and NBA players and NFL players, and they autograph for them uh, for me, which is pretty cool. And I send them back. Uh, but yeah, but obviously the real reason I was came up here was for the sets. So. Here's a picture of what this whole thing used to look like and how many sets I used to have. Um, that was about a year ago. Uh, and this is it now. So I do not have this one put together, 1953, 1954, 1955, or 1957. But I am putting those together soon. Um, all of these aren't finished except for 1975 but they're all in a work in progress uh, I got 1955 Bowman together I've got 1952 Bowman together but the rest are tops so uh, I've showed these off in some of my other videos my very very early videos I'm thinking about showing some more off um, but yeah this is how it's changed I went from pretty much exclusively modern to exclusively vintage and I also collect with my dad now, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, let's get to the second question. So, Shoebox Legend's second question was, what is a set that you wish came back? And uh, that set, to me, is the uh, Turkey Red. Um, this is my only real Turkey Red card. I have a couple of the reprints from, like, 1990-something. Um, I do believe they did bring this set back in the early 2000s or early uh, late 90s 1990s uh, but those were just like normal sized cards kind of like this um, and you know they didn't look as cool so I wish they did bring this set back uh, kind of like the full size that would be cool I think you know finding the giant packs in um, in the recent retail store so that's what I think they should bring back is the turkey reds uh, and they, I mean, just look at the designs on here. They're so beautiful. I have a couple other ones. This is my only real one again. Um, but yeah, so I hope you two enjoyed the VRs I did for you. Totally fine if I don't get in. Um, it is a little, little late. Hope you guys see these. I'll tag you. Go check out the channels. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, peace out.